on today's episode. For over a day now, I've been messing around with this laptop, trying to fix a problem with a weak Wi-Fi signal. Hopefully you can see on the screen there, 27 megs, and it sometimes bounces up to 150 and then back down again. If I search for local networks, I have four that should be available, and I can only weekly pick up one. This is an HP laptop. I've changed the Wi-Fi card out, and that made no difference. I've actually changed the operating system from Windows 8.1, which is a horrendous carbuncle on the face of operating systems. So it's now running Windows 10, but no joy. I've looked at the power settings. Sometimes in the power options, it can be set to limit the power to save energy on the Wi-Fi card, but that's not proven to be the case either. I need to investigate further and maybe go back to basics. Having tried everything else, Let's now just check the continuity of the cable to the little Wi-Fi card. Firstly, the outer screen. No problem. Now carefully probing the center probe. Nada, nothing. There's a break in the cable. Can you believe that? Let's investigate further. This is where the screened cable passes through the hinge. And this sleeve here is supposed to strengthen the wire where it passes through, but clearly it hasn't. As you can see where the sleeve ends, uh, there is the telltale sign of uh, shiny screen. And indeed, if we move the cable, you can just make out, I think, you can see that the center cable is clearly broken through there, although part of the outer sheath is intact. Now there's no easy way to repair that, so fortunately from an old laptop I'm going to rob uh, a similar cable and antenna and swap it out for that. With the replacement cable in place we can now see 150 megs on the interface, which is uh, excellent. And now if I go back and search for alternative networks, uh, I can see in fact, five networks. All is good. Sometimes it's good to be reminded to go back to basics, not dive in and, as I am wont to do, overcomplicate things.